Welcome to my Live at Five, and we're back in my kitchen today. And again, I have to apologize, it's a bit echoey, but uh, it's the best place for me because I have so many things I want to show you today from the Murray Kondo collection. And last week we talked about the kitchen products, and this week we are talking about her storage products. So one of the first things I want to show you is this six-piece Vanna six-piece um, drawer organizer set, and I it's forty dollars, so about eight dollars each. It's I'm not a big fan, and I'll tell you why. I do like that it's bamboo and it's um, sustainable, but I can see if I had pens in here that 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 ink would mark that. And um, the other thing that I really don't like about it is that these two are different sizes. And do you see how that is? So even if we put another small one in, it's going to be uneven. So I'm not a big fan of that. I would rather see you use my favorite container store, Everything Drawer Organizer. It's also two inches high. It's lightweight plastic, and these are much more, uh, a much better value. Okay, one of the other products they have is they call this the Hakadashi Small... 14-piece uh, set and the reason why it's 14 pieces is because it's seven cardboard boxes with lids and the, This one is called clarity and I don't know if you can see but it looks like somebody already poured ink into them um, So I definitely wouldn't get this one and the other thing is they are beautiful cardboard boxes If you want to get these to give an elegant gift to a friend that is fantastic but if you are using this as they show them in a drawer there are different heights, and I'm sorry, but that's just going to drive me crazy. And again, I feel that um, depending on what you're using, maybe if it's just paper clips or rubber bands, it would be fine. But that difference in height in a drawer is going to drive me crazy. And again, these are super expensive, so what they are. So I'm going to go back to, for two inch height, get the Everything Drawer Organizer from Container Store. Plus, this is a... Um, it's sold all together. You can't buy these individually for the exact sizes that you want, whereas with the Everything Drawer Organizer, you can. Okay, so talking about offices. So I'm gonna give those products a uh, six out of 10. Now, I've got a product here that's a zero out of 10. I wanna show you the um, Bamboo Pen Organizer from the Container Store. This is $20 and it's part of their um, bamboo grid line. They also have a rattan line that's not in stock yet that I think I'd like a lot more. This is right, do you see how that pen just goes right through there? That would drive me crazy. And I thought, well, maybe I can at least put post-it notes in, but it's not really the right size for a post-it note. So I'm afraid I'm gonna give that a zero. I just want you to use a pen organizer. Oh my gosh. Something simple with little compartments to make so things don't fall over. So that is a nah, not a great product. But speaking of this bamboo shoji line, sorry, they have this fantastic bin. This bin is 12 by 16 and it has a canvas liner, but this liner is like an oil skin inside. So if you spilled something in there, it wouldn't mar the canvas. I think that's fantastic. It is $50, but uh, for a bin that's going to be seen out on a shelf that you could put scarves and, and a lot of things in, um, especially, you know, I think that that's a really good looking bin. I would not mind spending $50 on this because it is so beautiful. I kind of wish there was a lid for it and they don't sell a lid for it. However, they also sell this, which they call a pantry bin and this, ooh, which they call a pantry bin. And I know the reason why, they want them to be sustainable, but because it has no canvas lining, I just threw some scarves in there, you can see that looks like a mess. I wouldn't wanna see that out on my shelf. And if it's gonna be in a closet, I'm gonna spend a lot less than the uh, $35 that this, or I think $40 that this one costs. Same thing with this pantry bin. This pantry bin, is, I'll give it credit, a perfect size for kind of baked goods, um, but there's only one place really that you can label it, 
and it's $30, people, $29.95 for your pantry. And if you're doing your pantry like I do my clients' pantries, I want everything to be consistent. We would be spending a fortune. I would much rather see you get something like this. This is literally $6 at the container store. It also fits in an overhead bin, unlike these that are 13 inches deep, and it's plastic. So if something spills, if your bag of rice breaks open, you don't have to worry about it. And again, it's easy to label. So these are lovely bins. I really wish that they had done the canvas liner for them because then we could have used them elsewhere in the house. But as a pantry bin, Marie, no. I'm gonna give it a seven for the bin and a three if we're calling it a pantry bin. Okay, so that's some of the office and the pantry, other some other pantry items. But then she has these, and these are called the curved Ori bin. And I think that you can see that it comes in a natural color and a brown color. And I think these are really quite elegant. They are not cheap. And unfortunately, I don't have a medium size available. They were all sold out. The, uh, this size is $20. The medium size is $30, uh, 30, $25. And the large size is $30. So that's not crazy amount to spend. Again, on a bin that might be on a shelf that we're gonna see out. Uh, I, I'm, they do say that they are stackable. And I think you can see that doesn't really stack. So the stackability is not a selling point for me. However, Container Store does virtually the same bin. Can you see how similar those are? This is whitewash. They do it in whitewash, copper, and gray. So they're very clever because they did do entirely different colors um, in the Marie Kondo line. The natural is much lighter than the copper but you can see that it's really the same um, kind of construction at the front, only this one is curved and this one is straight. Again, these are priced $10 less and right now they're on sale. So I, I feel that you need to see what fits best in your home and see how much you want to invest. I do also think that it's important if you're going to do all consistent containers, especially kind of a fashion container like this, buy some extra because if these are um, discontinued and you need a replacement, then you're gonna be unhappy. So uh, go ahead and buy a couple extra. Also know that the um, brown is dyed and I've already seen a little bit of the color chip off. So I love the bin, it's a little pricey, but for the right person and the right space, I'm gonna give it an eight. What else can I show you? Um, this is an interesting item. Sorry, I gotta get off camera. So this is the Marie Kondo non-slip hanger. And I had some high hopes for this, which have been dashed, because I had hoped that Marie Kondo was going to make it for a slim shoulder, kind of a petite person, but it's not. It's 17 and a half, which is a standard size for an average hanger. It's called non-slip because it has kind of a little bumpy area. Can you see that? Um, and it also has a notch for a camisole top. I'm, I'm not a big fan. These are nearly $2 each and they take up a whole lot of space. Perhaps in your guest coat closet to impress your friends, but any beautiful wooden hanger would suffice. Um, I wish that if it was going to be for a closet that this non-slip had been here so that if you were doing trousers that they wouldn't slip off. I'm going to say go back to the black flocked classic slimline hanger. These are also um, slip resistant. Things don't slip off of them. Trousers and tops. Even, even without a notch, a camisole will stay because of the velvet flocked on that. And these are just a little bit a little bit more rounded so you're not going to get that shoulder nipple that you often might get so those are just a few of the items from the condo murray condo collection that they actually had in stock at my container store i wish i had some more things and i actually went this afternoon because i wanted to show them to you 
but my container store doesn't have them in stock. Some things that I have some real hopes on are their, um, they, they call them, and they come in a letter size, legal size, letter size, and kind of an accessory size. And there's five in a package. The large ones are $15, so three bucks each. The letter are 12 and the small are 10. I can really see using those for a lot of things. In the literature, they show them kind of as paper holders, but they could hold paper, they could hold puzzles, they could hold a lot of things. They have a zip top, they look very durable. I think that's gonna be a great product and each of the five has a different color so you can kind of color coordinate them. Um, another product I have super high hopes for is the bamboo drawer dividers. They're a set of two for $35, which is very reasonable, and they are six inches high, and I have not been able to find six inch high drawer dividers anywhere. Normally they're either four or two, and sometimes we try to stack them, which is horrible. So I'm very excited about the bamboo drawer, it's a squeezing drawer divider. They didn't have any at my store to show you, but the six inch high, they also come in four inch high. So. That's something I'm really excited about. They also are going to have a children's collection. And again, it's not in stock. One of the simple things they're gonna do is a rope bin. Their rope bins are $19.99. Now on Amazon, you can get three rope bins for $40. So it's kind of like buy two, get one free if you do the Amazon. And again, I don't feel like you're only gonna have one. She shows them for toys and kids' clothes. I don't know how you're gonna label them, so I'm not a huge fan, but if you like that kind of soft sided thing, especially for baby's items, I would shop on Amazon instead. And I'll pop links to kind of uh, options, or you'll see this on my Tip Tuesday, because you guys get my Tip Tuesday first. Another thing that they show, it's a wall-mounted, uh, they're selling it as something to hold children's books, like two children's books, and it's $19.99, and it has to be mounted on the wall. Uh, Ikea sells it, they call it a spice holder. It's a few inches shorter, but they sell it for $5. So I'm not a big fan of anything that holds two or three children's books that I has to be mounted on a wall. I'd rather see a bin like this for kids' books, and that's often what we do. Even that soji bin with the holes in it would work for kids' books. So there's some things coming up. They have a set of labels, and those look exciting. Uh, spice labels, pantry and uh, kitchen labels, and fridge and freezer labels. Again, they're not in stock in my store because I have a feeling I'd give them high marks. So there you have it. It's a very quick overview of the condo collection next week. I'm not sure what I'll be talking about, but it might be an after party for my presentation on Saturday, kind of doing some highlights of that. I do think that the condo collection, it looks like there can be some real winners. Those six inch high drawer dividers, the labels, the pouches. Um, I think there could be some real winners, but I'm not finding things I am absolutely loving. And this is a real, a real sad one. I'm gonna end this here. That leaves me to say, I'm Celie Cauley from Simplify You. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care guys, bye-bye.